The golf world is mourning the death of U.S. Open champion Payne Stewart and five others. Now comes the investigation into one of the most unusual incidents in U.S. aviation history today, Tuesday, October 26, 1999. Hours before the Learjet crashes on the South Dakota prairie, authorities know Payne Stewart and all five others aboard must certainly be dead. Know that from Air Force Captain Chris Hamilton, who first intercepts the plane in flight. After the Lear takes off from Orlando and radio contact is mysteriously lost, Hamilton, flying an F-16 in exercises over the Gulf of Mexico, is diverted to chase the Lear and see what's wrong. NBC News has obtained this tape from a camera on the F-16's nose and sound from its radio as Hamilton refuels from a tanker plane in flight. Now calls air traffic controllers on the ground. Same type aircraft of the intercepting and the nature of the problem. The nature of the problem is unknown and uh, type aircraft is a Lear 35. Controllers try to contact the Lear using its call letters 47 Bravo Alpha. Lear 47 Bravo Alpha. But there's no answer. Controllers wonder if those aboard could have passed out from a lack of oxygen. If so, could they be jolted from their stupor to use emergency oxygen? Clear 47 Bravo Alpha, go to 100% oxygen. Only silence. Now at 44,000 feet, the Earth's horizon no longer in sight. Finally, Captain Hamilton and the F-16 has the Lear in sight, though it's not seen here because the Lear's off to one side. Hamilton calls. Number 47 Bravo Alpha, F-16 from the left side. There's still nothing. But as Hamilton closes to within 50 feet now, what he sees is terrible. It uh, looks like the uh, front to cockpit is uh, either frosted or uh, basically condensed over. I can't see inside the, uh, in the cockpit. Terrible, because a window frozen inside almost certainly means depressurization, loss of oxygen, dropping temperatures inside to 40 below. Hamilton reports to controllers deadly conditions. And uh, no response from the uh, target aircraft, as I mentioned, both sides of the cockpit are uh, condensed or frosted over. Could not see in, in the uh, cockpit area, no apparent damage to the aircraft. No broken window or hole in the plane, no ready explanation for loss of oxygen. Did everything look like it was intact? Did it look like there was any damage to the aircraft? I saw uh, no damage to the aircraft uh, that I could see. And still no response. As the F-16, low on fuel now, breaks off, all hope lost. Pilotless, the Lear flies on, on autopilot, halfway across the country, until it runs out of fuel and spirals to Earth in a very remote area. Today, Captain Chris Hamilton recalls his frustration that day. I was basically flying about 50 feet away from the Learjet at the time, and it was just a very disheartening feeling to be that close uh, and recognize that those people in that aircraft uh, were in distress and I couldn't do anything to help them.